So we're going to look at the comparative performance of a traditional uh, cytographic segmentation and persona live and predicting liquor sales. Um, now, I chose this data set because it's publicly available data. Um, and uh, I can tell you a bit about it. Um, so it comes from the state of Iowa. Um, and it provides liquor sales at a transaction level for all liquor stores in the state. So this is a pretty big data set. There's millions and millions of rows. Um, and uh, this is about 1,741 stores, a lot of stores, large data set. Uh, and we picked from these stores uh, 10 products that we wanted to uh, focus on predicting sales outcomes. Uh, and we predict, or we picked these products to represent a variety of alcohol interests and preferences so we could show wide applicability. Um, and the results are here. So starting uh, on the left column, you can see that breadth that I was talking about. So you've got different liquors, there's flavored, fruity, stiff, high-end, uh, whiskey, vodka, uh, et cetera. Um, and in the right two columns, you can see, uh, or rather right three, you can see which set of variables uh, won uh, in, predicting, uh, in predicting sales outcomes for each of these products. Um, so on eight out of 10 tests, uh, Persona Live uh, outperformed traditional segmentation. And right alongside both uh, Persona Live and traditional segmentation, you can see age and income is another column. Um, this was meant as another point of comparison where we took straightforward age and income variables directly from the census and applied the same tests. Uh, now you can see that traditional segmentation does have a lot of value on top of the, those traditional variables. You're going from an 8.3% error reduction to 21.8% error reduction. And you can see that we have improved upon that, um, an additional 3.5% error, error reduction. Now, this improvement, um, as I've kind of emphasized here, it was across a wide variety of liquor sales to show that wide application potential. Um, so the next question is, you know, can we do it even better than that? Um, earlier, we mentioned that this is our second data set product. Um, so let's take a look at how our proximity data set does um, in combination with Persona Live. Um, so to give you just in short the differences between these data sets, uh, proximity describes what an area is like and is based only on social media, uh, whereas Persona Live uh, describes the people who live there and is based on social demographics, mobile visitation, and web visitation. Um, because proximity is based on different data, uh, it captures a different signal. And so we would hope that it would improve um, improve performance in predictive models because it's capturing new information that wasn't there in the original data set. And we often do see this uh, uh, to be true um, as we did see in this case. So let's look at the results. Um, so by combining proximity and persona live, uh, we actually got a further 8.7% reduction in error. That's a 34% lift on top of where we were. So kind of to summarize here, uh, we're going from 8.3% uh, with just agent income variables to 21 to 25 with Persona Live, um, all the way to 34% by um, including our kind of improved uh, customer segmentation um, and our um, original data set product, product proximity, which describes what an area is like, uh, which is an entirely different set of information from um, what, who are the people that live there. Um, so before we move on, I did wanna uh, give a shout out to our friends at Carto. Um, they may actually made a blog post that inspired us to work with this data set. Um, so we took the same methodological approach as they did, um, but then kind of reapplied it uh, as one of the tests in our gauntlet. Um, so that kind of summarizes um, one of these example tests of what we did in our gauntlet, but they all kind of generally had the same structure of um, how, uh, how does this data set perform on a wide variety of tests um, and comparing that to um, other data sets as well. Um, so with that, I'm gonna pass the time back to Leiden.